Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you the bubble sort sorting technique out of the many sorting techniques which we have uh, discussed uh, so far in the discourse of the data structures. Uh, this is one of the sorting techniques out of the many techniques uh, which have uh, applied in the data structures uh, to sort uh, an array of uh, numbers be it integers or any float numbers or anything. So, uh, an array of numbers can be sorted in different uh, ways as uh, we have seen in earlier videos that uh, we could have uh, sorted that array in other ways like uh, uh, merge sort, quick sort, heap sort, insertion sort, selection sort as we have discussed in the previous videos. But in this videos, I am going to discuss the bubble sort uh, which is a very simple um, uh, logic uh, underlying uh, this bubble sort technique. And I will go to write the code of this bubble sort technique and uh, make you understand what are the details into it and uh, how the process takes place uh, with the reference to uh, an example, a small example array in which I am going to apply the bubble sort coding, the function, uh, in order to make you understand how the, everything uh, goes inside uh, the bubble sort technique. So, bubble sort is a very simple technique of uh, sorting uh, an array into an ascending order or a descending order. I will just go on to sort the array in an ascending order. So, uh, how to do that? Let me just give a brief overview how this technique uh, plays. Uh, suppose uh, if we have something like this, if we have any numbers like 15, uh, suppose 8, like this uh, 17, 12 or something like that. Suppose there are 4 numbers, suppose there are 4 numbers, 4 integer numbers 15, 8, 17, 12 they are placed in contiguous memory locations in an array and uh, if we want to sort these uh, elements in an ascending order, we can apply the bubble sort technique and which uh, uh, goes on like this. Uh, suppose this neighboring elements need to be compared and uh, if the left hand side element of the of both of these elements like these 15 and 8 are neighbors and 8 and 17 are neighbors, 17 and 12 are neighbors. So, if neighboring elements this 15 and 8, we are going to compare these uh, two elements uh, with each other and if see the left hand, uh, left hand side element is greater than the right hand side element, we are going to swap the positions of the two elements uh, with each other and uh, get the smaller elements placed on the left hand side because we are going to sort the array into a into an ascending order uh, ascending order sorted list. So, this 15 and 8 upon comparison of this 15 and 8, we see that 8 is uh, less than 15. So, this 8 will come over here, 15 will come over here and 17, 12. So, this is the first iteration of the comparison and, and this uh, then in the next iteration, we will just compare this 15 and 17 with each other and see this 15 and 17 are perfectly placed uh, with respect to each other. That is the lower one is placed on the left hand side and the uh, higher one and the greater one is placed on the right hand side. So, there is no need to swap these two elements with each other. Now, we now the array remains unchanged. The array looks like the one before and now we come to this pair of elements. These two neighbors 17 and 12 and see that 12 is less than 17 and hence 12 and 17 will be swapped. So, that after that we will see that 12 comes over here and 17 comes over here. In this way, we have seen that out of the four elements which we have taken in our example, the lowest element that is 8 has been already pushed to the left hand side. So, it has got its position. We will just assume that this 8 has got its own position and need not be considered in further passes. And after uh, in the next pass, uh, this is the pass 1 and in the pass 2, we will see that we will consider these 3 elements and these 3 elements 15 and 12, again the repetitive procedure 8 will always be here and 15 and 12, 12 is less than 15. So, right hand side is less than 15 means it will be swapped, they will be swapped with respect to each other, 12 will come over here, 15 will come over here and 17 will remain over here. Second iteration of the past 2 that is 15 and 17 will be compared and 15 and 17 are placed uh, with, uh, with each other uh, with respect to each other in a correct fashion. So, there is no need of swapping. So, the array uh, looks like the one which is shown just in the previous uh, step. So, 8, 12, 15 and 17. In this way, we see that if we just go on to 
just don't consider we if you don't consider this 8 and 12 because they have already uh, are placed in their respective locations we'll just come over here and see whether this 15 and uh, 15 and 12 15 and 17 are with respect to each other in the right manner or not so we see that 15 and 17 are, are placed in perfect fashion so there is no uh, change in this 8 12 15 17 will remain like this and 15 and 17 will remain in the manner as shown before and uh, after that we see that the so array has been sorted in a ascending order with 8 at the beginning followed by 12 then 15 then 17 so this is the this is the basic logic underlying this uh, bubble sort technique and uh, we are now going to write the code of, uh, we are going to write the c function of the of the bubble sort algorithm and after writing the code i will just uh, try to take this example and show you how the algorithm works on that uh, works uh, according to that code so let's get started with writing the code and uh, come back to you after writing the code and, expl and explaining the code so after writing the code i am going to explain what i have written over here as the, this function is not now going to return nothing from it uh, we have taken the return type type to be void the name of the function i have taken is bubble sort and uh, the two arguments to this function are uh, int a uh, third bracket pair, pair of third brackets and int n so this means the base address of the array which is going to be uh, sorted and this n is the number of elements present in the array which is to be sorted so i've taken several variables over here like this i flag j t these are some variables taken for the uh, for the for the purpose of uh, writing this code and after that i've taken a for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus after that i've written several lines but you will get to just understand uh, what i have written over here if we just explain uh, this function in terms of the example which we were discussing earlier that is this uh, array of four elements uh, having these uh, values 15 8 17 12 so uh, we will you will get to understand what we have written over here in this line of code uh, only by uh, only if i explain this uh, sorting this technique this uh, if, if we apply the code uh, with respect to this array which we have earlier discussed uh, in the uh, in the previous example in, in the example which we have uh, started with so that uh, unsorted array containing this 15 8 17 12 these four values will be sorted by applying this code and uh, we'll just apply this code to this array in order to sort it and uh, that will make you understand what we have written in this uh, whole uh, algorithm in this whole function so uh, let us just get started with the the dry run of this uh, sorting with respect to the array which we have taken over here so suppose uh, if we start from here for i is equal to 0 i less than n there is n in our case this is, suppose this is the base address this is the array a base address is suppose 65586 and uh, suppose the n number of elements in this array is 4 so this is suppose 65586 five, and this is 4. So start with to start with we just uh, enter the function body by uh, these arguments that is 65586 five, that is the memory location of the base address of the array A and the number of elements in the array is 4. So after that we have uh, taken 4 variables i flag j t and so on and i is equal to 0 i less than n so we'll just start our dry run by uh, writing this i is equal to 0 which is definitely less than 4 and we enter this uh, for loop j to be uh, assigned to the value n minus 1 n minus 1 means 3 4 minus 1 that is 3 so j is 3 now flag will be set to 0 first and now we'll see this uh, inner while loop while j is equal to j is greater than i so j is now 3 and which is definitely greater than i because i is equal to 0 now so uh, j means uh, 3 which is surely greater than i i is 0 so we enter the while loop for the first time and see if aj less than aj i minus 1 aj means a3 is less than aj minus 1 means a2 so let's see this a3 means 12 
and A2 means 17. And see this, the right hand side value that is AJ is less than the left hand side value. So, in this case, the, there will be a swapping. So, there will be a swapping between this A2 and A3 by this uh, free variable swap technique which we have written over here. You will easily understand that what we have uh, tried to write over there. So, this now the array will be now this A3 will contain this 17 and A2 will contain the value of uh, 12. So, the array will be changed like this 0, 1, 2, 3. This will be 15, this will be 8, this will be 12, this will be 17. So, after this, after if we just do the swap, if we just do the swap, we will set the flag variable from 0 to 1 because as we entered the for loop, we have set the flag, vari flag variable to 0. Now, the flag variable becomes what becomes 1. Now, we will try to come to this while loop again while j greater than i j will become j will be plus plus only one thing is that j will be j will be minus minus so j will be minus minus and there will be a brace over here so after this we see this uh, if after this uh, if block we will it decrement j by unity will decrement j by unity and j will become now j is equal to 2. So, j will become 2 now after that we will try to enter the while loop once again and see that j is 2 greater than i the i is still 0. So, we will enter the while loop for the second time. Now, after that, we will see again this portion if aj is less than aj minus 1. What is aj? aj means now a2 and aj minus 1 is a1. And let us see in this array a2 is 12 and a1 is and a1 is 8. So, a2 is not less than a1. So, in this case, there is no need of, there is no need of swapping this, uh, swapping these two values. So, the neighboring values are getting swapped. So, this, uh, if, it, if it is required rather, if it is requ required at all. So, in this case, there is no requirement of swapping this 8 and 12 with each other and the array remains in this fashion, the array remains like this and flag is not changed, the flag now uh, remains as 1. So, flag is not changed in this process, j minus minus j becomes 1 and then enter the while loop again j is less than, uh, j is greater than uh, i. So, again we enter and see if j, aj, aj means now, aj means now is 1 and a1, aj minus 1 means a0 and see this a1 is less than a0 this is the condition to be checked and see this a1 is 8 and a0 is 15 yes a1 is definitely less than this a0 and there will be a swapping so there will be a swapping and the array will change to this fashion 8 and 15 will be swapped with each other 12 and 17 will be there 0 1 2 3 and the flag variable will be set to 1 flag will be 1, it was 1 and it will remain as 1. After that j will be decremented once again, j will become 0 and after j becomes 0, after j becomes 0, we will never enter the while loop because this condition breaks. Now, we come to this line. Now, we come to this line. If flag equals 0 then we have to break because in that case we will have nothing to be done we will just break away from the uh, from the for loop and uh, just the function is going to be terminated by this uh, ending brace the, this uh, closing brace. So, the, uh, we see that the flag value is 1 it is not uh, 0. So, there is no question of breaking from the for loop and we come back to the for loop after incrementing i. So, i becomes now i becomes now 
1 because I was earlier 0 now it becomes 1. Now j is equal to n minus 1 again j is equal to n minus 1 again. So j has in the process become 0 but now the j should be set to n minus 1 once again. So j becomes 3 now and again we will just follow the same pattern as we have done in the first iteration that is flag is equal to 0 while j greater than i still j is greater than i because 3 is greater than 1. So we enter this loop and see this. 3 is greater than 1 so we condition holds we enter this uh, while loop and see this aj aj means a uh, aj means a3 less than a2 let us see whether it is a3 is less than a2 a3 is 17 a2 is 12 it is not less than uh, a2 a3 is not less than a2 there is no question of swapping flag will remain as 0 it will not become 1 after that j will be decremented j will become 2 Still, this is greater than 1. We enter the while loop once again and see aj. aj means now a2 less than a1. Now, see if a2 is less than a1, if a2 is less than a1, then there is a, a question of swapping. And if it is not, uh, there, if a2 is not less than a1, there is no need of swapping. So, let us see a2 is 12, a2 is 12, and a1 is. 15. So, definitely 12 and 15 they are need to be swapped because a2 is less. So, we will have the array. Now, in this fashion, if the array will become in this arranged in this fashion 15, and what we will say, no, it is not that. We see that the array will follow this array because 8 will remain over here and we have swapped which one a2 and a1 that is this two. So 12 comes over here, 15 comes over here, flag becomes how much flag since the swapping has been done the flag will become 1. So flag has changed from the 0 value to a value 1. After that j will be decremented, j will become j will become 1 and we go out of the while loop. Then flag has, we need to check whether the flag is 0. No flag is not 0, will not break away. We will just increment the i and come back to this portion. I am just explaining it in this part. So i has now incremented to a value of 2 which is less than 3, which is less than 3. So now j is equal to again n minus 1, j is equal to 3, flag is equal to 0. While j greater than i, j is definitely greater than i. Now we enter this loop. If aj a3 is less than a2, let us see whether a3 is less than a2. Oh, so say this one is 17. And a3 less than a2. Let's see. a3 is 17 and a2 is 15. So there is no question of uh, the swapping to take place. Flag remains 0. After that, j becomes minus minus. That is, j becomes j becomes 2. So, since j is 2, we break away from this while loop because uh, i and j are now equal and this j greater than i condition does not hold. We come out of this while loop and go to this line flag is not 0 because flag, uh, yes flag is 0 now because flag has been set to 0 uh, after we have entered into the, into the i is equal to 2 step of the for of the outer for loop flag has been reset to 0 and there is no question of swapping over here so there is no question of flag becoming 1 over here the flag remains the same there is 0 and after after this after uh, coming out of the j loop we come over here and see the flag is 0 we break away from the while loop from from the for loop and we go from the go out of the for loop and come to this ending brace and come out of the function in this way the last position of the array which we have taken is 8, 12, 15, 17, 8, 12, 15, 17. So the array has been uh, beautifully sorted in an ascending order. It is just the order which we wanted it to be. So in this way, this code works on this uh, array to sort the array in an ascending order by apply, applying this uh, simple uh, sorting technique out of the many sorting techniques in data structures which is the bubble sort technique and if you have any doubts and queries uh, pertaining to this entire explanation you can well post your doubts and queries 
into the comment section below so that I can address them. Thanks for watching this video.